Over here, over here. This is dedicated to those out there who are bored with GTA 5. Meet my homie, the Canis Terminus. <laughs> That's right, the heavyweight 4x4 king of the off-road. It comes equipped with all the latest and greatest humanity tech, including performance enhancing slick mines, you know, and armor plating. But you know what? We're gonna show you some things you've never seen about the Canis Terminus. You know why? Because after 10 years, come on, finally, we can customize the Jeep. There are probably more outrageous looking cars out there, but the one that comes to mind is the new Canis Terminus, modeled after a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon and likely to appear in GTA 6. Presented in stone gray with sky blue accents and a black and red interior, it's the third iteration of the Jeep Wrangler, and this thing will cost you $1.9 million and it's worth every penny. You can remove the arch covers, it a variety of heavy duty bumpers, remove your doors and remove your roof, and of course tons of liveries. The Canis geometric livery specifically is based on a custom rallies graphic livery for the Jeep Wrangler designed by IDE Auto Works. And despite all of this, it's worth noting it still comes with its flaws unfortunately. If you apply a painted roof option, the rear windows will be removed. And the primary and carbon wheel covers are broken. You can see through them in first person. Now with this information, can we ponder upon what type of flaws will appear in vehicle models in GTA 6? So we're a couple of minutes in and you're, you're still skeptical. You're still sitting there saying, so what, it's just a Jeep. Let me tell you right now, this is the one that will bring it back in. This is the one that will make you play GTA 5 again. Because you know what? Over the past month, shout out to all the new subscribers, thank you so much. Over the past month, we've been filming so many cars from obnoxiously loud convertible Mustangs that have given me ear orgasms to a nasty ass luxury SUV that gave me an STD. <laughs> one of Tim Allen's all time favorite drag cars that's broken to surviving the low self-esteem of the LSPD in their new muscle dildos, yikes. And driving one of the rarest Porsches in GTA 5 that you probably missed, I'm sorry, unfortunately. After all of that, after all of that, I'm sitting here today confident telling you that this is worth your time. And let me explain. Imagine yourself, put yourself in the mindset of how can I have fun when I play GTA 5? If you have that mindset, you obviously have to take the Canis Terminus off-road and do some off-roading. You know, it's the only fun aspect to a Jeep. Just look at this, look at this. Come on, this is the solution. Look at, <laughs> well, don't look at that, fuck me. <laughs> But look at this. I mean, the Terminus is the solution to everything you were looking for. Had a tough day. Drive the Terminus. If you're bored in GTA 5, I mean, drive the Terminus. This 4x4 heavyweight. Look at this. Oof. Over any obstacle, any rock, any mountain, it can climb. You know, like, this is the definition of what driving is and what fun is. I mean, when you pay for over $500,000 for a Monitech, you can equip a missile lock-on jammer and prevent any griefers from locking onto you. So then you can just get in your terminus and just fucking send it up a mountain. It's, it's the answer to all of your problems, all of your solutions. Your girlfriend's mad at you. Drive the terminus. <laughs> they say it's like crossing the Rubicon, crossing those tough times. You might lose traction, just like you lose in real life, but the answer, driving the fucking Terminus, sending it up any mountain. Wow! Oh my God, look at that, like, come on. We're fucking driving the Terminus. 